Hello beautiful people, it is Uwi Tepo here and I have such an exciting word for us today and I pray that it blesses us tremendously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray and then just get straight into the word. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you so, so much for this word. I thank you, Father God, for this word because it is an aligning word. It is a word in the name of Jesus that offers us insight father god into exactly what this new season is about and i pray that as we receive it as you prepare our hearts and make our hearts fertile soil for this word may we see the tangible manifestation of this word may you give us the grace in jesus name to receive instruction from you and apply it as we go in jesus name we pray amen and amen. i'm just going to get straight into it guys um in fact, right after receiving the word for the prophetic word for June, the Lord began to speak to me about how we have just entered a season, right, where we are expected now to learn manually. So this is the manual season. The Lord says, hallelujah, the Lord says that the former lesson and season is done and dusted. The old and everything that came with it no longer has room for the new that you have stepped into. So what does this mean? This means that this new season that we have just shifted into requires much more room and space. Keep in mind, the Lord says, that the old will remain persistent and territorial. It will try and show itself aggressively through old habits through traumas through triggers in the name of jesus even through fears even through the spirit or, or the, the the basically the spirit of self-sabotage however do not allow the old to deter you when it peeks its head out aggressively do not allow the old to deter you from this new season hallelujah instead in this new season, may you see the old feeble attempts of the enemy. Let me say that again. In this new season, see the old and feeble attempts of the enemy as a bright, tangible sign of the newness that is being birthed in this season, in this manual season. Hallelujah. I urge you to learn and to continue resisting the old. Learn how to resist the old and continue to resist the old in this new season. Learn to say no to the old. Be strategic in your no to the old. Learn to stand firmly against the enemy. Because keep in mind, guys, the word says that when we stand firmly against the enemy, he has no other choice but to flee from us. There is victory that awaits you. There's also an occupancy and a rest that belongs to you. So not only is there a victory with your name on it in the season, there is a victory in the season that is yours that you will hold on to and you will grab onto in the season. But there's also a state of occupancy and rest that belongs to you in the season and you will attain it. So as the Lord ushers in, this new season, right, that is also ushered in in this new month of, of June, right? I believe we are, on, we are still in the newness of June, right? A fresh new season is upon us. Not only a fresh month, but a fresh season is upon us. This is where the Lord is saying that the time of learning in theory is done. It is absolutely done. We have now entered a time where the Lord will be giving us clear practical instructions and directions he will be directing us and expecting us to receive to listen and to apply with immediate effect so this new season is ushering a time where we are no longer learning in theory but now the lord is actually acting like a manual he's actually acting like a book in fact we are finding those instructions in the very book that he has given us, which is the word of God, right? So no longer are we learning in theory, but now we are spending time in his presence. We are receiving direct instructions and we are expected to apply it immediately. 
This is a practical season, the Lord says. You are learning as you go. Now, a good example that we can actually um, think about that will give us much more understanding of what type of season we are in right now is actually the journey of a pregnant woman, right? So throughout the nine months, as she is carrying, she is going to birthing classes. She is receiving all this information, right, about being a mother. She is reading up on, on all these books about being a mother. So in these nine months, she is learning in theory, right? She's going to birthing classes. They are telling her how she will need to push. They are telling her how she will need to change the diaper and what she will need to do. She's all, all this information that she's receiving is in theory, right? She is learning about what it will be like in reality when the child comes. Hallelujah. So all the information she is receiving is understood theoretically. It cannot be applied just as yet. And that is the season that a lot of us have just stepped out of. A, a season of learning theoretically and not necessarily being able to apply it yet. The Lord was, was teaching us what it will be like when the promise is birthed. What you will have to do when the promise is right there. The things that you need to get in, in, in order um, for the promise to come, right? However, all of this suddenly changes the minute she gives birth. The minute you give birth to this child, everything suddenly changes. The theory seems to fall or rather fly out the window because learning in theory and learning practically are two different things. When you, in fact, when we think of how it is to be a new mother, right? I don't know, but um, I'm assuming how it is like to be a new mother, right? And, and this is a lesson that we see um, throughout many experiences in the world. Um, in fact, let me think, let me speak about the experience of going from high school to university. Throughout high school, all they're doing is teaching you in theory what it might be like to go out into the big bad world until you actually go out into the big bad, bad world and you realize that everything that you've learned there in theory doesn't really help or even apply to what the real world is actually like. And that's exactly what I believe it is to be a mother. As you're learning all this information theoretically, it somehow flies out the window the minute an actual child is there. So the moment this child is presented to the mother, right, she will have to put the theory aside and begin to engage with her hands and learn manually. It's almost like she begins to learn what it is to be a mother while actually being a mother. So no longer is she being prepared to be a mother. Now she's automatically a mother. But as she is a mother, as she has already received the title of mother, she needs to learn what it is to be a mother. She is learning as she goes. Now, this is the season that we have just stepped into, where we will be learning manually with our hands in real time. No more is the Lord speaking to us about when it happens, how it will happen, it has happened now. You have been presented with the gift. You have been presented with the opportunity, with the promise, with the relationship, with the business, with the ministry. And now it is time for the Lord to impart in you and for you to apply as you go. The promise has been birthed. The baby has been presented to you. Amen. You are now learning what it is to have the promise in your hands in the name of Jesus. You are now learning practically actual experience. You are gaining actual experience of what it is to receive and apply, receive and apply, right? And, and that is exactly what it is when we are having a practical lesson or a lesson where um, they are teaching us how to learn manually, right? You have an instruction book or a handbook. You read it. It tells you exactly what to do and you do it. It's like a, um, a recipe book, right? Because that is a manual that is giving us instruction. It says break three eggs, you break three eggs. There's no time to think it over. There's no time to unpack it and let it marinate. No, you gain information, you gain instruction and you apply it as you 
go. In fact, it is a time and a season where you are actually acting either on instinct or in this case, because of the kingdom that we belong to, we are actually acting in discernment. Amen. This is a season of practical learning where your manual labor and effort is required, where the Lord will be instructing us, handing over assignments and projects. The Lord is handing over projects and directions and expecting us to go, 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 go. With this new month of June, we have shifted from learning in theory and now we are learning manually. Hallelujah. And more than that, there is a relearning and an unlearning that is taking place. It's almost like we have just come to terms with the fact that learning in theory is completely different to actually applying things practically when the baby is right in front of you and it's time for you to actually use your hands in the name of Jesus. So what I just want to release over us today as we have just come into alignment with the season that the Lord has shifted us in. I just want to pray or speak over our lives that there is a set of instructions coming your way in the name of Jesus. There is a guide and an ordering of steps that is taking place in this hour. Hallelujah. And I pray even in this week, there is a guide and an ordering of steps that is coming through from heaven down into the ears of God's beloved. And in this season, in Jesus' mighty name, our promises are taking shape. The clarity is becoming clearer as, as, as we've ever experienced it before. There is a clarity that is, is so clear and cut that we are receiving. It's almost like there is a fog we have been existing in and the Lord is pulling us out of that fog as we gain that clarity. And that is what I'm speaking over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to also end off with the scripture from Genesis 12, verse 1 and 4. And this is what came to mind as I just prayed over this word that the Lord gave. You see, in Genesis 1, the Lord gives Abraham clear instructions, right? He says, go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land that I will show you. And then through verse 2 to 3, the Lord begins to tell Abraham all these amazing things that will happen once he obeys the Lord's instruction and direction. And then verse 4 simply says, so Abraham went, right? So Abraham went as the Lord had told him. And he took Lot and Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. But what stands out for me so much is that verse 4 simply says, so Abraham went. And that is the season we are in right now, guys, where the Lord is instructing and we need to simply put our hands to the ground, put our, in fact, roll up our sleeves, put our feet to the ground and go. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Bye-bye, guys.